Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code by weekly contest 111. Uh, it's a hard level problem and again a problem related to digit dynamic programming. Uh, let's see what the problem is asking us to do. No, so the problem name is number of beautiful integers in the range. Okay. By the way, just by reading the problem statement, <laughs> you can get a hint that, okay, it must be saying uh, to form some valid numbers, you know, or rather to find the count on some valid numbers in a range. But let's go to the exact problem statement. So it says that you are given positive integers low and high and an integer k. Okay. A number is beautiful if it meets both of the following conditions. What are those conditions? The count of even digits in the number is equal to the count of odd digits and the number is divisible by k. Okay. Return the number of beautiful integers in the range low to high. So this is the hardest problem of the contest and this has the I would say the shortest problem statement. So yeah, it's very straightforward. It says that you are given a range low to high. You have to find all the numbers in this range, which are beautiful. And what is a beautiful number? A number having equal number of, you know, even digits and odd digits. And also if the number is divisible by K. Okay. Uh, like for example, this is an example that from low to high, you have to find the numbers which are divisible by three and also have equal number of you know odd and even digits so it says that there are two two beautiful integers in the range 12 and 18 right so if i talk about 12 so we have one even digit and one odd digit great and 12 is divisible by 3 similarly 18 okay 18 is divisible by 3 and also you have one odd digit and one even digit that means equal number of even and odd digits right so you have just two numbers if you just check you do not have any other number in this range which is beautiful right uh, similarly, if you talk about this example, so you have to find that beautiful numbers between 1 to 10. So there is only one beautiful number that is 10 because this is odd and this is even and 10 is obviously divisible by 1. So all the numbers are divisible by 1 and so on. So this is what the problem is asking us to do, right? Um, yes. So the range is this low to high. Uh, the range can go up to 10 raised to the power 9 and the divisibility of a number will be tested by a number which can go at max up to 20 right now just see this range we can apply a brute force solution right the brute force solution would be that we can, we check all the numbers from low to high we check the divisibility of every number and also we check the count of odd and even digits in each, in each and every number right if both of them satisfy we just increment the count that is the brute force solution but again seeing the range we can see that okay this solution will not work right uh, rather i would say even though if there is some tweak that we can do which works for these constraints we should ideally go to a better solution like for example if this is 10 raised to power 9 but suppose the range would have been 10 raised to power 18 then what would have what we would have done right so that's why we should generally try to uh, go to a better solution so that's why let's discuss that uh, yes yeah let's discuss that so whenever you see this type of problem right that you have to find some valid numbers between a range right low to high what you do whatever is the validity test that's that's a totally different ball game but whatever is the uh, what do you call it divisibility test or rather a uh, validity test you just have to do something like this that, that okay let's find the numbers which are valid from a range from 0 to high okay let's find the count of numbers which are valid which are satisfying my criteria and are in the range from 0 to high now similarly we can find the count of numbers which are valid from 0 to low minus 1 okay low minus 1 so if we subtract this part what happens we get the count of numbers from low to high right low to high this is a this is an easy way to solve this problem right this is an easy way you just write a utility function how to write that function that is different you just write a utility function which gives you the count of valid numbers from zero to a given number and we can do this stuff right solve that for high minus low minus one why low minus one because you have to include low right that is why this is the first thing now comes the question how we solve this problem right so if we just see the range is 10 raised to the power 9, right? That means we can have at most 10 digits, right? We can have at most 10 digits. So in these type of problems, what we do is we try to, you know, place digits, different digits at, at each position, right? Here we have 10 positions. 
so we try to place each uh, you know all the possible digits at each and every position okay that's what we do a typical digit dp problem i would say in the past couple of months this is the third digit dp hard problem that we are getting so if you want you can just check those solutions as well this is also on the same track right so nothing different if you see this solution also this will work right but i have explained it in more detail in those videos right so here what happens i'll just give you I'll, I'll also give you a brief introduction here as well let me just erase it and let's see what is actually digit dp and how we solve it right a very brief intro so these are some digits what i do is um, suppose i have to find the valid numbers again forget about the validity here right? suppose i have to find <laughs> some some valid numbers uh, which are less than 1 2 3 4 okay 1 2 3 4 so now what i can do here is now what i can do here is just for simplicity 1 2 3 4 i want to find the valid numbers which are less than this or rather in the range from 0 to 1 2 3 4 okay so i start placing a digit here okay i start placing a digit here now what are the possible digits i can place here I can place a zero i can place a one dot 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 till nine i can place here right remember if i place here nine i cannot form a four digit number right simple right that means when you place a zero here for the next position you can place any digit here right when when you place a one there you are bound to place a digit which is at most two at the second position right that means you have a tight bound right so whenever you solve a digit dp problem you 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 take a variable you take a variable that tells you that the position where you are going to place the digit do you have a constraint to place a digit or not right now what do we mean by this constraint this constraint says that uh, let me take an example okay suppose let's talk about this position right for simplicity so suppose i have placed three three digits and i am about to place the fourth digit okay now tell me one thing if i have placed one two three here right suppose I, 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 i'm forming a number where i have a one here two here three here so here i have a four that means the upper bound is four so can i place a five here no right because i want numbers which are less than this guy okay so i keep a variable which tells me that for this position the upper bound is dependent on the digit that is present here okay the upper bound is dependent on this if that uh, boolean variable is false I, I i try all the possible values from 0 to 9 here and if that boolean variable is true i try all the past possible values from 0 to this value this is what the you know utility of that variable is just see here tight is that variable name okay now for this problem what what are the extra information we need we need okay what are the count of even digits what are the count of odd digits right this is one thing now you must be wondering that how to determine the value of this tight digit right that we will see in the solution right that is uh, you know a very trivial digit dp algorithm right but overall to solve this problem first thing is you find the answers from 0 to high minus 0 to low minus 1 okay and then how do you find the answer for this function basically try to place different digits at each position and when you reach the last position if that is a valid condition you just keep on incrementing your count I'll, I'll directly show you the code so that you get a better feel of how this is working right okay just see this is my main function it says that from low to high find all the numbers which are beautiful and divisible by k okay this is low string i have converted my number into string okay integer dot to string low minus one okay uh, this is the dp uh, i'll tell you why i have taken it similarly this is the high number i have converted into high string and this is the second dp again you can use the same array also to store the answers i've just for simplicity i've used two different arrays now just see solve for high string minus solve for low string remember low is low minus one here now let's see what is this function doing right that is something that we will enjoy right now just see i'll just erase it so that it becomes clean okay so it is something like this this is the current index okay this is the current index that means i need to generate a number of suppose five digits okay so i am seeing okay now i am at this digit okay obviously it starts from zero boolean tight tight says that i am going to place a digit here but do i have a tri tight constraint or not if there is a tight constraint i'll i can only place digits from zero to whatever digit is present here in the original number 
original number means either high or low okay and if tight is false i try all the possible values from 0 to 9 this is the number of even digits you have in your num number till now the number of odd digits you have till in your number this is the remainder why because here you need to find the divisibility test right so if your remainder is zero that is divisible this is the string okay this is basically the uh, high or low right i have just taken the string representation of that number this is the dp array so that we do not recompute the answer again and again this is k and this is all zero right this is an extra thing you take care in digit dp questions right two things tight and all zeros now all zeros is here because what happens as i said you you place digits at every position right so there will be a possibility where you place a digit zero here then again a zero here again a zero here again a zero here so depending on the problem uh, what happens is you may include this zero in your answer as a valid answer or you may skip it so to keep a check right because the variables will change here right like for example if i write zero zero nine then actually this is nine only right and the number of even digits here are zero but if i if i keep a track of these zeros right it will give me wrong answer so what we do is we just keep a track of that all the digits that we have placed here are they all zeros if they all are zeros we basically tweak our to tweak our variable accordingly i'll show you that but this is why this variable is there right i have just shown you the utility right now if i have reached the end of the string that means i have placed the digits at all the positions right because my indexing starts from zero then what happens i stop i stop i return either a zero or a one because this is the terminal condition now when do i return a one if the number of even digits is equal to the number of odd digits and the remainder is equals to zero right and the remainder is equals to zero then it is a one that means yes you have found out a valid number else it is zero this is the base condition all right forget about this i'll come to that i'll come to this part this basically tells that that for that for this configuration if you have already calculated the answer you just return it don't calculate it right that's what it does right now let's come to the core logic so what what did i say for every position we'll start and end at a particular position i mean we will we'll try to place all the possible digits right so end says that what is the last digit you can place at this position so if the constraint is tight then the last digit that I can place is s dot caret current index. That means whatever character is present here, or if is if tight is false, that means you you are you are free to place any digit. So you can place all the digits from zero to nine. So that, that's why the upper bound is nine. Okay, count is zero. Count basically tells me how many numbers are valid for the current configuration, right? Now, let's start placing the digits for the at the current positions. Current digit starts from zero, goes to end. Current digit plus plus, right? Now cal let's calculate the new remainder because now I am placing a digit at the current position and now I'll get a new remainder, right? So what will be the remainder? Whatever re remainder I've got till now into 10 plus current digit mod k, right? This is the way to calculate the new remainder, right? Simple stuff, basic mathematics, right? Now calculate the new tight. That means for the next position, do we have a tight constraint or not? Remember, this is similar for all the digit DP questions. I mean, in most of the cases, right? It can be here and there a little bit, but overall, this is the logic. If for the current position, your constraint was tight and the current digit is equals to end, then the next position has a tight constraint. Okay. What do we mean by this? We mean by this that suppose we are placing the digits. Here, we had a tight, tight, tight constraint that, okay, we can just place the maximum digit we can place here is four. Okay. Then for the next position, what will happen for the next position? What will happen? My friends is that if I have placed a four here, then here also I'll be bound to place, uh, you know, the, the maximum digit will be whatever is present here. Let me take a concrete example. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Now, if you have, if you have placed a thing here, you have, you are bound to place only digits from zero to four here but if you have placed a two here you are bound so you can place any digit from zero to nine okay so when you have a three here actually you had a tight constraint new tight is tight and if the current digit equals to end so when you have a two here that is not equals to end so that is why that is how we calculate it right now new all zeros right if all the digits that you have seen are zero is still the current position and the current digit you are placing is also a zero then that means the I have seen all the zeros till here. all the digits that I have seen are zeros till here, right? Just these things. Now let's come to the main logic. If the current digit mod two equals to zero, that means I am seeing an even digit. So I'll call the function solve for the next index. This is the new tight value. 
now just see if you have if all if the current digit that you have placed is also a zero and you have sealed all the zero all the digits that you have seen are zero then basically whatever is your even digit count you will pass that only why let me tell you this so if you have zeros right and you have seen one more zero you will not increase the count of your even digits right because actually no matter how many zeros you write if you place a nine here or you place a eight here this actually is a number eight forget about these zeros right so that is why if you have seen all the digits that you have seen are zeros even digit count will not change else even digit count will increase right if you have seen even a single non digit non zero digit right and this is the odd digit count this will not change because the current number is an even even digit right this is the new remainder this is the string this is the dpra this is k this is new all zero right right so nothing changes just the count of even digit new tight and all zero may change right this is what what it, what we do and if you are seeing an odd digit you are placing an odd digit so again current plus one new tight even digit odd digit count plus one new remainder s dp and k and new all zeros i know the number of parameters are uh, more here but yeah that happens right some of parameters some of the parameters can be skipped like for example uh, you can skip k you can make it a class attribute uh, and you can skip dp but yeah it totally depends on your implementation right so that's that's what we'll do we try to place all the digits we count the total number of numbers valid numbers that we can form and finally before returning the answer we store it so that whenever we get the same configuration again we do not compute it this is the basics of dynamic programming right this so what are the constraints current index is this whether it's tight or not these are the count of even digits these are the count of odd digits and this is the remainder okay so these many numbers are there if we place digits still here for this tight for these number of dig uh, even digits for these number of odd digits and when the remainder is this simple okay so this is how you solve a digit dp problem okay i have taken this is a very slow video i know reason being since this is a tough topic i have taken time to explain right if you want to study this in more detail you can google any resource related to digit dp you will get a basic idea i have not explained digit dp in detail here but i have given you a sort of 10000 feet overview how we solve these type of problem because because otherwise if if i start explaining dig dp in this problem uh, it will become a very long video and it will be you know boring to watch so that's why but if you are familiar with that concept this is how you solve it right if you must have seen we have not that added any extra thing the only tricky part here is taking care of all zeros and taking care of the new remainder and yes we are done you can use any template related to digit dp and you will be able to solve this problem right um so yeah that's it for this problem i hope you learn something new from this video so do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well in case you have any issues related to the solution please let me know in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye